wonderful day. I am the Wellness Hero, and my name is Brian Lucchese. This is part two of the DNA activation video. And there are some specific things that need to be fundamentally understood about DNA activation that didn't get covered in part one, because there's just so much information, there's so much light to share in regards to DNA activation. And one of the most important things is to go through a DNA activation, whether you have one session or several sessions, is simply fundamentally this. You can get cleared of any blockages within your chakra morphogenic system. You can remove any implants and any programming that has been put upon you. You can then imprint new information, new light, new codes, new programs, new ways of thinking. And after each session, before each session, there's just some self-work that's required of someone who's activating. And again, you can activate yourself. This is for any human on earth. Everyone should have the ability. I believe DNA activation should be open source. And the point is, we should be able to turn on our bodies if we so feel the motivation, the inclination, the vibration from within our fire letter sequences and our scalar waves that we covered in video one. These fundamental vibrations that send out our message to the universe for law of attraction, for bringing of anything that we are thinking about, our DNA again, into our existence. So... The meditation, the journaling before and after sessions is vital. Drinking of water and hydration, the removal of toxins within our system, such as cigarettes or alcohol or different processed foods. We talked about in video one that, you know, having some a little bit of nutrition, each Food possesses a color. If it just grows that way and eating the rainbow becomes part of your vibrational frequency. Each one of those colors is a vibration. You are a vibration and higher vibrating things are required during DNA activation. The most important thing is simply this. If a person doesn't follow the protocol of meditation, of documentation, of healthy lifestyle choices, it is less likely that the programming of the new imprint of the DNA activation is going to follow through and process to its full capacity. What usually happens is someone thinks an old way, goes back to an old habit or an old behavior, and slowly starts creating the new blockages. Blockages within our systems are basically fundamental to the way we think. So this is why I really made part two is that the self-work involved is profound. To understand what DNA activation is easy. To manifest it and create it within your being is dynamic. It's a wonderful experience. It's amazing to engage in as a human, yet with this profound shift, this pro profound change of wiring your brain, it becomes a new way of thinking. Everything within the world becomes a brand new, a clean slate with this activation. And the activation will continue. You will continue activating more and more until you're moving within your higher self and you're representing you know, your soul's purpose and why you came to this earth. That's truly what DNA activation is. It's embodying your higher self and your greater being and your amazing essence that each human on this planet, each love being, has the ability to do. Yet, it only people only stay activated for embracing this new, creating and developing new vibrations, hanging out with higher vibrating individuals that are along their path, and sharing, loving, being who you want to be, creating the job you want to exist, your life's work. You always heard, oh, do something that you love. We all have love within us. We touch that love, we activate that love, and now we're still presented with the daily choices we have to make every day. So if a person doesn't start making new choices based upon the new imprint of the DNA activation, staying true to yourself, yourself being, doing the work of meditation, doing the work of writing, and there are specific 
intentions that would be put upon if you went to a practitioner. You can do this yourself. You can look this up on the internet. You're watching this video right now about DNA activation. And I think it's vital to understand that there is work to do after an activation. It just doesn't stay that way. It, you're just, like I said, you're not just zapped and all of a sudden, oh, everything's brand new. It is that way and will only stay that way if you keep feeding and creating and developing from your heart center, being true to yourself, and releasing all this old stuff that no longer serves you. We carry a lot of old things. We carry a lot of things um, from previous existences and just from this, per this existence. And it's very important to understand that the work involved of releasing these things is different for everyone. Some people could do it super fast and it's easy to release and move on. And other people need a little bit more time. And that whole idea and construct of time is human created and has nothing to do with our DNA. You are on a wonderful journey. I'm so grateful you watched this video. Hopefully part two brought a little bit more clarification of the self-work needed and the uh, amazing opportunity that we all have within our human system. I am the Wellness Hero. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like, make a comment about DNA activation. Um, this is something that is within all of us to do. And if you were watching this video, you probably resonate with a little bit higher level of being, connected a little bit more to your higher self. And if you'd like more information, contact me. Namaste.